Hey guys, this is an Ambassador 12 inch oscillating desk fan made by Galaxy or Lasco. Um, this fan, yeah, it's, it's an old Galaxy. Um, and I've never seen one of these older ones labeled Ambassador, actually. I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I have. But it is an old Galaxy. Um, it is date stamped 1973. It's actually date stamped a specific day and month, but the day and month have worn off slightly, so you can really only see the year. But it is 1973, which is pretty old for a plastic desk fan like this. But these are, I think, one of the oldest plastic desk fans that were ever introduced in America. They're made by Sanyo. Well, made by Galaxy, but assembled with Sanyo parts. Um, and obviously it's in the blue and white color scheme. Now these were succeeded by the... Th these are what I call the first generation models with the big bulky square base and the grill that is... Uh, the, with the rungs that are sort of spaced more far apart and the white center grill medallion. Um, they were succeeded by the second generation models, which I will bring a second generation model up right now. So, here's the second generation model, and this first generation model. Notice the second generation model, the grills are spaced more close together. It's got the chrome center badge piece, and the base is more sleek and more tapered, very, sort of a more modern styling. Um, yeah. It's also got, uh, this one's got regular push buttons, and this one's got piano key buttons. So, yeah. As for the basic workings of the fan, it's basically the exact same. Um, if I turn the fan to the side, you'll see that it has the exact same two-piece motor housing design that the second generation models had. Um, those were, of course, switched. In the brown ones, they changed to the one-piece design. It's got an oscillator knob that is screwed on, not snapped on. Um, please excuse that noise. That's the condensate pump. It does that sometimes. But anyways, the oscillator knob is screwed on, not snap on. Um, and some later second generation ones actually did have a snap-on oscillator knob. It has a handle that is actually attached to the cage and it's kind of bent outward, unlike the second, most of the second generation models that have it sort of just a bent, it's just a bent piece of curved metal that's welded onto the back of the cage. Um, yeah, the cage is slightly rounded just like the other models. It's a little bit smaller, I think, actually. Looking at the second generation model, it looks like it is a bit smaller. Um, but yeah, it has the same exact click-in-place neck bracket. And yeah, if I turn it to the back, you'll see that the back of the motor housing is identical with the venting there. And yeah, so I'll turn it back to the front. Make sure you're in the middle of the frame there. All right. So, and you're a little crooked here. Whoop. Oh no, you know you're falling. Okay, that seems to be better. Okay. So now the cord is gray, it's not tan, which is kind of unusual, um, but the plug is one of these plugs, a molded plug. It's actually the exact same plug that is used on my Gillette smoke alarm, um, as well as I think Lava Simplex used these in their old lava lamps as well. I have my, my Aristocrat has this exact same plug. So, yeah, that's the cord. Now... Um, another thing is that the blades don't have a threaded blade hub. It's just a little bolt that screws onto the shaft that 
keeps the blades in place. It's kind of annoying because it's kind of a bit harder to take the blades off, but you know. Okay, let's start it up on high. Finally, low. And now it is very quiet on all speeds, actually. Okay, switch it off and do spin down from low. And of course I oiled it when I got it, so spin down is pretty good. Okay, now engage the oscillator. And this time start it up on low. has a nice slow oscillation speed on low. Something that the later brown third generation models lacked. The brown models had really fast oscillation speeds on all speed, on all, the, all three of the speeds. Okay, so do medium now with oscillation. It's a great sound on high. I love the noise it makes. Okay, and then when it goes to the middle next, I'll stop it. Spin down from high. Okay, so it's time for some detailed shots of the fan. Alright, so here's the center grill medallion with the Ambassador A logo. The Galaxy ones would have a Galaxy logo, not the, actually an even older Galaxy logo than the original lowercase logo. Um, it was a different Galaxy logo. I'm not, actually not quite sure what it looked like, but it was different. Um, now, one thing I didn't mention is that there was a slightly later model of these first-generation ones that had a bigger chrome uh, center grill medallion. I actually saw one of those with the chrome medallion uh, at the Goodwill years ago, and I'm still upset that I didn't get it, but it was years before I got my first fan in this collection that I currently have. So, yeah, it was a while ago. Um, so, yeah. Here's the console with the piano key buttons that start at white and get darker in blue as the speeds progress. 
Uh, it does have both of its switch plate badges, which is very exciting. Most of the times this one is missing. Um, and one thing I'm kind of upset about in the Ambassador model that they removed is that the Galaxy model had a little design here. It was like a, um, like a sort of, a, I don't even know how to describe it, just like a little kind of curly motif type of thing. Um, almost like this on the, the baby galaxy here. Almost like that, but in like a, a slightly smaller and in like a little rectangle. It was right there, and I'm just, they removed that in the Ambassador model. I don't know why, because that was such a cool little design. Um, but yeah, 12-inch oscillating fan there. Um, another thing is that they have this, this one's cage is held on by little hinge clips rather than regular plastic cage clips like all the later ones were, which is actually kind of better because you don't have to worry about them breaking. Another thing I really like is the center grill medallion has these chrome pinstripes. That's a nice touch. So, there's the side. Once again, two-piece motor housing. Oscillator knob. The neck. There's a crack in the neck bracket, unfortunately, but that is not really a big deal. Um, here's where the cord enters the base. Uh, I'm going to turn it over and show you the label on the bottom of the fan. The previous owners did write upstairs guest room on the bottom in Sharpie for some reason. And this can be wall mounted, as you can see. And you can see right there, if it would focus. Model 3150, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 0.37 amps. And then there's the date stamp right there. It's something, can't, can't tell what the month is. December, maybe? I can't tell. 26th of some month in 1973. So, still has all four of its rubber feet. Nice touch. Once again, where the cord enters the base. Um, flip back up here. Alright, so that is the Ambassador by Galaxy 3150 12-inch oscillating desk fan. Thank you for watching, and more to come.